instructor. And today I'm going to take you through a couple of yoga poses to help strengthen and engage your core. So with us being at home during this time, I know a lot of us aren't getting out to the gym as much as we would like to, maybe even finding time at home to work out with kids and work and spouses. So I'm here to bring a little um, 10 to 15 minute video to you guys to be able to keep your core in check, especially being at home again, eating all your quarantine snacks, all that good stuff. So we are here today to get those abs together for the summer, because regardless of whether what we're doing or not, the summertime is coming, right? So. Most of us are familiar with plank, so we're going to start in a plank position with your shoulders right over your wrist, legs are up, and then you're shifted forward. So your heels are not back, but more pointing up towards the sky. Your core is engaged, and you're looking down and out. So catch yourself if you have your butt up in the air, bring it back down, really pull your belly button to your spine to engage your core. Nice deep breaths here, inhaling. And exhale. This is just too much on you. Can't get up to this position. Please feel free to bring your knees down, but stay with your shoulders over the wrist and your core is still working. Pull that belly button in towards your spine and keep your core engaged. Hold right there. Exhale. Moving into a different variation of plank. You're going to place your right hand right in front of your face, middle of your mat. Turning to the side, right foot is at the bottom, left foot on top, left arm comes up. Good, pulling your hips away from the mat. If this balance is a little too challenging for you, you can always bring your left foot right in front and keep your weight there. You can bring your gaze down towards your hand, it's okay. Looking forward or up to the sky if that's okay with your neck. Another variation here is to float the top leg. Breath, inhale, lift the hips. Exhale, back to plank. Moving to the other side. So you'll just switch left hand here, middle of your mat. Spin open. This time left foot is at the bottom. On the bottom, right foot's on top. Twisting your chest open, looking up if that feels good. Again, you have the option to bring your right foot in front of the left. Helping with your balance, keep the hips up. Or you have the option to just to challenge yourself a little bit more and fly your leg. One more breath, inhale, lift, exhale, back down. Another variation for plank to target the core. If you're not a fan of high plank with your arms extended, you can always bring your arms down to your mat and do a forearm plank. Same thing here, keep the body in one straight line, shifting your shoulders over your wrist, pull that belly button into the floor, squeeze everything tight. Inhale, and relax. So keep your arms exactly how they were in that forearm plank. Moving into dolphin pose will also help us strengthen our core. You're gonna make a basket with your hands, interlace your fingers right out in front of you. Elbows are a little wider than shoulder width apart. Your toes are tucked, and you're gonna send your hips up to the sky. Walking your feet in a little bit. Here, pulling your belly button towards your spine again, engaging your core. Taking nice deep breaths here. Adding a little bit of a challenge, you can lift one leg. Take a breath, bring it back down. Here, inhale, exhale, exhale, 
detail. You can also take this at your own pace. You can slow it down, really. Or you can pick it up. Again, listen to your body and what it needs. And relax. Take a nice deep breath in. Exhale, let it go. We'll come back to sitting on our bottoms. Preparing for boat pose. So boat pose starts. Knees are bent. Your feet are off of your mat. You're going to give a little deep lean to your core. And you can stay right here with boat pose with your heels on your mat. Because you're still getting that core activation right here. Pull that belly button into the spine. If you think you can take on a little bit more, maybe you try picking up one leg. And then the other. Seeing how that feels to your core. Making the necessary adjustments. If you would like to, you can pick up both legs here. Bring your hands to your heart, it's a little bit between your shoulders. And then eventually straightening your legs, if you would like. Come to a reverse plank so your fingers are going to come behind you. Point it away from your body towards the top of your mat. Take a deep breath in. Exhale. Let it go as you lift your hips up to the sky. Drop your head back. Just allowing for that relaxation, stretching out the front part of your body that you've worked. Still here, pull that belly button into your spine. So your toes should be lifted off of the ground and weight is in your heel. You want to squeeze your thighs together here. Tuck your tailbone, inhale. Exhale, sit a little more. Working your legs and core here. Deep breath in. Exhale. Final breath, inhale. Exhale as you lift back up. Big breath in. Exhale, turn to the side of our mat for star pose. So turning both feet out to the sides of the mat, pulling your core in, reaching through both sets of fingers, inhale. Exhale, lean to the right with both arms. Again, engaging your core, pull that belly button in, tighten your glutes, drop those shoulders back and down. Deep breaths. Inhale up. Exhale to the left. You're going to use that core, pull your belly in, reach, drop the shoulders back, inhale, and exhale. All right, thank you guys so much. That was our core yoga flow. So again, just taking the time to kind of get back into the routine, allow your body to continue to build muscle, build strength during this time. Thank you.